Hello everybody, my name is Tommy, I am a mask and puppet maker, and in this video we will be learning how to make arts and crafters. Where are you? There he is. He's pretty shy. So, let's get started. Welcome to Tommy's Puppet Lab. Enjoy the show. So a lot of you have been asking me to make arts and crafters, so we will be making that right now. So you are going to need a sock with a gray heel and toes here. So yeah, and make sure it's white. You can just probably find an old sock that you don't wear anymore. You'll also need a small sheet of cardboard, googly eyes, so you'll want to use a medium googly eye and a small googly eye. And you will also need some construction paper. So we'll need the red and black. Put that away. And some scissors, some gloves, because we're using an A hot glue gun. This is a low heat glue gun, and that is it. There's absolutely no paper mache involved. So this is the first time I've ever made a video that does not involve paper mache. So Arts and Crafters is worn like this. And then he's got something inside of his mouth. So I will be showing you how to do that. First of all, let's get the googly eyes on. So I'm gonna put the sock on, I'm just gonna find out where the eyes need to be glued on. So where the M, the M means medium eye and the S means small. So that's where you want to glue the eyes. Anytime you are using hot glue, please wear some gloves because I don't want you to burn your fingers. Especially if you're very young, you might have very sensitive skin. So wear gloves just for safety. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue the small eye onto here. And the medium eye is going to go right onto there. There, that takes care of the eyes. Who doesn't like googly eyes? Okay. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to give him the mouth. He is a very easy puppet. By the way, if you don't want to use hot glue, you can definitely use white glue. White glue will work just fine, it just takes a little longer to dry, so it just means you need to be patient. So we're going to take this sheet of cardboard and we're going to cut out a circle. So I'm going to put it just below where the gray tip here. Can you see where it's gray here? There's actually a little line that marks that. I'm going to just put it below there. And now you want to actually see how the grain flows. We're going to actually, um, we're going to bend this. And if we're going to bend it with the direction of the grain here. There. That's how the puppet's going to work. We're going to take a sheet of construction paper. We're going to take the black sheet. We're done with this cardboard here. And I'm going to actually, you can use white glue like I said, but I'm going to use hot glue because it's faster. And we're going to glue that right onto the construction paper. Now we're going to cut this out. We're going to cut out this cardboard that we just glued onto construction paper. Please get an adult to help you if you are using sharp scissors. You can easily do this with plastic scissors. Or safety scissors, I guess you call it. Ha ha ha. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this out. And there you go. You should have something that looks like this kind of like a black hole. Now I'm going to bend this again. 
Okay, so now you should have something that looks like this, so you should be able to open and close it. The next thing we need to do is we need to add the tongue. So I'm going to cut a small strip of red construction paper, and we're just going to cut out a tongue shape, which is on a piece of red construction paper. And that's what the tongue should look like. So now we are just going to glue the tongue right there. Just at the bottom half of the circle in the center, right where we folded it. And that's what you should have. Now what we need to do is we actually need to glue it onto our sock. So we're just going to glue it onto the sock. Just right here, leave some room at the top. You can use fabric glue too, that might work better. So put a little bit of weight on it while the glue dries. Just You want to keep some weight down on it so the better contact you have, the less likely it is going to come off. It will not peel off very easily. But yes, we are now finished. And there's Arts and Crafters. And there you have it. You now know how to make Arts and Crafters. Well, that was very easy, wasn't it? Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to check out my other Baldy Basic Puppets. I've got First Prize, Playmate, and you can even make a Baldy costume and principle of the thing. Don't forget to check those out. Well, I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Take one hand and put these two fingers together. Put your pinky on top and grab your pinky with your index finger and you just made yourself a puppet friend.